This video is about recovering Windows 10, 8 and 7 bootloader. Very often users face the problem when the operating system will not boot. And in most cases it happens because Windows bootloader is damaged. For example, when trying to start the system you have errors such as boot MGR is missing, an operating system wasn't found, no bootable device found and so on. The bootloader can be damaged after installing another operating system on this computer, trying to use the free space in hidden partitions or trying to format them, a failure when installing Windows updates or other system problems, a virus attack, etc. Before you start fixing this problem, check the boot sequence in BIOS or UEFI. It could be the root of the problem with booting Windows. So the first method to fix the bootloader will work with all versions of Windows 10, 8 and 7. In my case it is Windows 10. All you need is a recovery disk or a boot disk, a boot flash drive of the same bitness as your system. In case of Windows 7 only a boot disk or a boot flash drive can be used. If you don't have any, you can use another computer to create them. You can watch my previous videos to see how to create a boot flash drive or a recovery disk. After that, adjust BIOS or UEFI settings to boot from a disk, a flash drive and enter Windows recovery environment. In the recovery environment, click on Troubleshoot, Startup Repair, in Windows 7 it is also Startup Repair, select Windows 10 as the target system and wait for the process to finish. When it does, the computer will restart into the restored system. Don't forget to change the boot priority to hard disk in BIOS or UEFI. If you saw a message uh, that restore wasn't successful, it's often the case, try another method. It is also good for Windows 10, 8 and 7. As well as in the first method, go to the recovery environment, click Troubleshoot and start command prompt. Then enter the command bootrec fix mbr. To the right, uh, Windows master boot record in the system partition of your hard disk. When it is over, we can see the message that the operation is completed successfully. Using this command is not always enough. For example, if the bootloader failure was caused by a virus. That's why Enter the command bootrec fix boot. To write a new Windows master boot record in the system partition. When it is over, close the command prompt and boot from the hard disk. Now you're not supposed to have any bootloader program problems. The third method will work with Windows 8 or 10. As I have shown earlier, go to the command prompt started in the recovery environment. Enter the command disk part, then list volume to see the number of the hidden partition. If you have UEFI, this partition will have FAT32 file system and the size of 99 to 300 megabytes. And in case of BIOS, the file system NTFS and the size of 500 megabyte or less. In my case, it is volume 3 with FAT32 file system. You should also look at the letter of the drive where Windows is installed. In my case it is disk C. After you have seen that, enter the command select volume stream. That is you select this partition and work with it. Then format fs equals fat32. That is format this partition in the file system it had before. Assign letter equals Y. Assign a letter to the drive. You can choose any letter which is not in use now. Finish the work of disk part with the command exit and enter the following command bcd boot c windows s Y F O 
where C is the system drive letter, Y is the hidden partition letter which you assigned, and wait for the process to finish. After the process is complete, we can see a report saying that boot files have been created successfully. Enter disk part again. Then select volume 3, where 3 is the number of the hidden partition for which you have assigned the letter. Then remove letter equals Y. That is, delete the letter of this hidden partition so that it is now shown in the system. And finish the work of disk part again with the command exit. After that, close the command prompt and restart the computer. Don't forget to change the boot sequence in BIOS or UFI to hard disk. Now Windows bootloader should run properly. Thank you for watching and good luck!